What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, Intel's got some new drivers that just released for Windows. Also, a good Caspa pool for you small miners out there. Caspa's also got a bridge that's creating some interesting options for you. And then continuing with Caspa, they have changed the proposal verbiage. I want to go over that with you guys. Also, I have a solution for you if you're running into problems finding LOL Miner version 1.64 in HiveOS. We also have a new script coin to mine. So, you know the drill. Do me a favor. Hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just jump straight into looking at the market. So right now, Bitcoin is coming in at 16851 Ethereum at 1232 XRP at 38 cents. Dogecoin is under 10 cents now. Cardano at 31 cents. Polygon at 89 cents. Polkadot at $5.30. Litecoin at $76.95. Let's go ahead and take a look at Caspa, Flux, Ergo, and Radiant. So right now, Caspa is at 0 0.007551, down about 2%. We talked about this yesterday, but you can see there's a very clear Wyckoff accumulation kind of playing out here, which means we could have some further downside. This is another version of a of Wyckoff here. So you can see, you know, you get the, the peak and then you fall off, find support, and then off to the races once again. So who knows? We may have some more downside, guys. Just, just a heads up. So next, let's take a look at Ergo. So Ergo's down about 2% right now at $1.35. Flux is down about 2.5% at about 51, 52 cents right now. Bottomed out at around 50 cents earlier today. And then lastly, let's take a look at Radiant. So Radiant is up 16.5% right now at 0 0.002388. And yeah. Radiance looking pretty healthy, but I would imagine we'll have a pullback before too long. Uh, let's take a look at what to mine real quick. So right now, Caspa is coming in at 19 cents profit at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, which is getting to the point for me that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to mine it. However, I am doing a test between LOL Miner version 1.64, 1.63, and BZ Miner 12.1.1. So we do have a rig on Caspa right now, and I will be sure and let you guys know when that test is complete. Let's go ahead and jump into a couple of articles. I'm going to do things a little bit different today. You guys are used to me reading the entire article, but I'm just going to kind of summarize today. So the first thing that caught my eye was this article from Yahoo saying, Intel beware, a chip maker's new product launch could stake market, could stake market share across the industry. So this particular company is Lattice Semiconductor Corp. And they've got some FPGAs that are going to bring some competition to AMD. Uh, according to this, it says the Avant provides up to five times higher capacity, 10 times more bandwidth, and 30 times faster performance. And in comparison to AMD's, it showed a few live demos highlighting up to two times faster performance and 2.5 times better efficiency, which is pretty good. So we got some competition coming up from some new players. We got another article from Tom's Hardware saying that Intel Arc GPUs get a 1.8x higher DirectX 9 performance from new GPU driver. Now, I did check to see if we have a driver for Linux, and unfortunately, it looks like the latest driver for Linux was back on October 20th of 2022. So for those of us out there using Hive and trying to mine on an Intel Arc GPU, doesn't look like we're gonna gain any performance, but if you're a Windows miner, perhaps this latest driver is going to get you a little bit better performance. Uh, let me just scroll down here to this chart and you can see a head-to-head -head comparison in some gaming performance. So we got a few games here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. But depending on which game, uh, take, for example, CSGO, uh, almost a 1.8x, which is about an 80% increase over the previous driver. And this is drivers only. 
So the previous driver version was 3490 and the new one is 3953. So if you're rocking an Acer A770 or one of the Intel A770s or an A750 or an A380, any one of those, I would recommend updating your drivers to the latest version and see if you get any difference in hash rates. Next, moving on, I saw this article. The U.S. chip boom is just beginning. We've been talking about this on the channel for quite some time. Uh, but just a heads up, President Biden traveled to TSMC Arizona's or TSMC's Arizona plant on Thursday to bask in the glow of the announcement. The company, which by some measures manufactures over half the world's chips, said the threefold increase would bring its investment to around 40 billion. TSMC says the plant will create more than 10,000 high paying tech jobs, including 4,500 directly at the plants themselves. But guess what? Uh, TSMC is not the only one or the U.S. is not the only one uh, trying to get chips manufactured locally. The EU uh, also had a chips act giving them 43 billion uh, to try and get the manufacturers to come to the EU. So it's very interesting to see what's playing out right now. I think that the situation with Taiwan is getting dire and it looks like, you know, all of these different countries have seen the writing on the wall and they're making some big moves. Now, I don't know where this is going to leave Taiwan in the long run. I think there are some China sympathizers in the ranks in Taiwan, but for the most part, Taiwan wants to maintain its independence and does not look forward to any kind of influence from China. But if the US and the EU and everyone else is trying to get manufacturing done locally and pulling out of Taiwan, that could potentially spell disaster for Taiwan, but we will see. Anyways, moving on, let's take a look at HiveOS real quick. So currently mining Caspa on all the rigs, but specifically for Tatooine here, this is the one we're going to run the test on comparing LOL Miner 1.63 versus 1.64 versus BZ Miner 12.1.1. And I ran into an issue and I wanted to share this with you guys just in case anybody else runs into this. As you can see, I'm on 1.63 and I started out with this one specifically because I ran into an issue trying to get 1.64 on all of the rigs. I did update to the latest version of Hive on all of them. And what you're going to see here is this particular rig is running 1.64. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet. And this is what's weird. So as you can see, it says unsupported version. Your current minor version is no longer supported. Please update with the newer one. So I tried, well, when I updated this 1.64 was an option for all of my rigs but now on the ones that i didn't select i got a little sidetracked and and went and did a few other things and when i came back to my pc it was no longer a selectable option for any of the other rigs and the rig that i had already updated was giving me that error message as you can see 1.64 is not an option here and i am running the latest version of hive os so I reached out to a few people on Discord and I want to say thank you to Keaton for answering my question. Um, so I attached this screenshot and said, not sure if anyone has asked this yet, so sorry if it's redundant. I updated all my rigs to the latest version of Hive so I could utilize LOL Miner 1.64. I updated one rig in the flight sheet, no problem, working fine. Stepped away from my PC for a bit, came back to update the rest of the rigs and 1.64 is no longer an option. Thought I might have imagined I selected 1.64 on the first rig, but now I see this. LOL Miner says it's on Hive's end. Any ideas? And Keaton asked if I was updated to the latest version. Of course, he said try clearing browser cache or accessing from another browser or device or incognito mode and see if it shows the same. And the rigs set to latest are fully updated and it's still on 1.63, said yes. Can always go into Hive Shell and run self upgrade and see if it triggers it to update to LOL Miner 1.64.
And so the first thing that I did was I just pulled out my phone because I wasn't around a PC at the moment. And sure enough, 1.64 was available in the options from the dropdown list. And checking it in incognito mode on a browser does give me that option. So I didn't want to clear my cache just yet because I wanted to show you this before doing so. So if you guys are running into that issue, uh, just go into your browser settings, clear your cache, and you should be good to go. If you're not, please let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, moving on. So in regards to this test that I'm doing on Casper right now, and the different versions of LOL Miner and BZ Miner, uh, one thing that is pretty imperative to doing a proper test to show you guys how many shares we're getting at the pool is to do it on a pool that does not have Vardiff or a change in difficulty. It needs to be static. And for that reason, I am currently on a pool that has non-adjustable difficulty. And that particular pool was provided to me uh, by Minor League. And I want to say thank you to Minor League for providing this. So this pool, if you guys haven't seen it, it has a very, very low payout. Uh, it's only five CASPA for a minimum payout, which most of them are, I think, around 100. Some of them by default are all the way up to 2,000 CASPA. So very interesting to have uh, a non-adjusting difficulty and a very low payout. So for those of you out there that have, you know, just one GPU or maybe just a couple and you don't have a lot of uh, hash rate, then if you're trying to get smaller payouts or faster payouts, this would probably be a great pool for you to use. Also, uh, one other thing that he had mentioned that I wanted to share with you guys is he's testing a version of the Casper bridge that lets you mine to a local node, but get paid out PPLNS from a parent pool with very, very low latency. And the best part about this is, is this is going to prevent 51% attacks. So I, I would like to know more about this and I'll continue to investigate it and I will share that with you guys. So again, for those of you who are looking for a pool with very low payouts, definitely one that you want to check out. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention to you guys was the changes made to the proposal in the CASPA Discord. So they did get around to changing the verbiage in here and I'll just start from where some of the changes take place. So set the minimum recommended commission level to 0.04%. The ability to choose between several fee levels or set an arbitrary level is warmly welcome. Pools and miners that will be implemented such a commission are to be marked as recommended in the information materials of the CASPA community. So it's nice to see that A, it's not mandatory, and B, that we start out at something like 0.4% instead of 2% minor tax. I'm still not a huge fan of, you know, something being implemented by default. I think it should be um, turned off by default and then optional to turn on. Uh, but at least we're making some progress here, right? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Again, before you leave, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, for those of you who stuck around, I almost forgot we have a new GPU mineable coin. It is a script coin. I believe it's also CPU mineable. It's called a cure, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but you know, looking at the mining pool stats page, uh, it does have a Discord, has a GitHub. Coin Paprika is going to take you to the wrong coin. But looking in the Discord, uh, I did notice this right off the bat. Someone said, so 20 million coins, no idea of pre mine. And then whoever's running this Discord responded and said, 2 million pre mine. That's 10%, which is substantial. Uh, there is a wallet, it is on GitHub. Uh, you can start a node. Uh, I believe it is mineable on CC Miner. I'm going to continue to dive into it, see if I find it interesting. So far, yeah, I don't want to fault the person running the Discord, but you know, based on their verbiage, the way they type, and the way they respond to people, it doesn't seem super professional. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe that's a red flag. Anyways, uh, I'll keep an eye on it, let you guys know what I think. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one.